Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of this newsletter is going to be why she runs hot and cold. Got an email here from a viewer. He says, hey, Corey, I've been seeing a woman I met online for about a month now. I've studied your book, and I've read it multiple times. I've been very successful casually dating this year and using your methods. Much appreciated. You're welcome. He says, I've applied your principles by setting up the date and time in advance, staying in my center, and letting her do 80% of the talking. However, recently I've reached a plateau with her. She has suddenly stopped texting me good morning every day, and it takes her hours to reply to my text messages. Well, this tells me that her interest has dropped. Women are more attracted to men whose feelings are unclear. And this tells me that your feelings are a little too clear, and you're pursuing a little too much. Because when a guy over-pursues, a woman backs off. But when a guy under-pursues, the woman chases and pursues him. And it's, I, it's best if a woman is doing 70 to 80% of the calling, texting, and pursuing. And when she does, all you got to do is either return the call or text and make the next definite date, the next opportunity for sex to happen. Keeps it really simple. He says she eventually replies, and it's upbeat, and she always asks me questions back. You mentioned in your book when a woman acts distant to pull back and to stop messaging and calling her. Well, I did, and it worked, and she texted me at first. Or she texted me first. All along, when I set each new date, she is quick to say yes. I feel her interest level is there, but at the same time, it feels like she's slipping away. She really runs hot and cold. We just had our fourth date today for coffee on our lunch break. Well, that tells me a lot. You're on your fourth. You make it sound like you guys have been dating for six months or, or something, but you really just gone out on four dates. And so the reason why she would go cold is you started to pursue too much, too easy, too available, probably talking about your feelings too much. And basically, she realized that you're more into her than she is into you. And typically, when a guy senses that and realizes that, he becomes fearful. And he starts to pursue more and he starts to chase more, which is what causes her, any woman for that matter, as long as she's emotionally healthy, to back away and to not pursue less and to, to become confused about how they feel about you and unsure of where they stand with you. But there's only four dates, dude. It's not very much going on here. And the other thing is you're saying you met her for a coffee on her lunch break. That. If you want to be her lover, do things her lover would do. If you want to be her male girlfriend, do things her male girlfriend would do, which is exactly go and have coffee lunch, you know, coffee at lunchtime. That's not a date. That's something that you do with a buddy or a friend, and you're going to you're gonna get yourself putting friends out if you keep doing that crap. He says, I walked her to her car. She quickly leaned in and gave me a grandma hug using one arm and lazily leaned into me. This, in my eyes, was a kiss of death. But then she leaned into me and gave me a big kiss. In the past, I've initiated the kisses. I'm totally confused by how she acts. And that's the other part of the problem. You're, you're so focused on this girl and how she feels about you instead of just going out and having fun. And when you're worried about how she feels about you and you can tell that you're more into her than she is into you, you become focused and fixated on that. And what happens is then you start acting unnatural. And so the interactions with you and her then become awkward and they don't flow. And she can tell that you're totally in your head instead of in your heart, just living in the moment and having a good time. Like I say all the time, the only thing that you need to focus on as a man is to hang out, have fun, and hook up. Rinse, recycle, repeat. And you can't have fun and hang out and hook up when you're meeting a girl in the middle of a work week for an hour to have coffee with her. The, the, the process of seduction is you want to get closer and closer and closer to a woman until you eventually end up inside of her. He says, one thing I need to point out is that she has been single for 10 years and the longest relationship during that time was three months. I really like her and we have a ton in common, but I'm honestly confused. Should I ask her why she is running hot and cold in a lighthearted but direct manner and just be honest? <clears throat> why do you care? Why would that matter? All that would communicate is that you're unsure of yourself and you, in essence, would be acting like a woman. Men who are successful with women, they like going out hanging out and having fun with women over and over and over again, obviously in hooking up. And usually what happens after a couple of months, the women want them to be their boyfriends and they bring it up. And the average guy that's really successful with women, he wants to stay single as long as he can and put off being exclusive as long as he can. And he's not going to bring this stuff up at all. Why? Because if he's dating three or four women, he's got several women that want him 
to become their boyfriends. And so he's got lots of choices. And so he's not going to be in a rush. You, on the other hand, you're basically, it's like in your mind, you think like you've got to rush to the finish line. Women fall in love slowly over time. And you're trying to rush things. You're trying to force things. You're trying to push things. How do I know? Just by the way you're talking. And you're all focused on how she feels about you. And like I said, you've got to take your time. Go out with this girl once a week. Go out on an evening date. Stop doing this bullshit lunch stuff because you're not going to get anywhere except stuck in friend zone if you keep doing that. And I know you want to have fun and hook up with a girl and you don't want to be going to lunch and going to movies and never getting laid and getting a, a grandma hug or occasional peck on the cheek. So before you blow it, you need to back off, call this girl once a week, set a date, in the evening and stop being so focused on her falling in love. She'll fall in love with you slowly over time. You must, you absolutely must. I can't stress this enough. You must let women come to you at their own pace because the problem is you're acting like a woman and she's acting like a man. You're acting unsure of yourself and that's a feminine quality. It's not a masculine quality and it's very unattractive and it's a turnoff to women. So if I were you, I would take some corrective action really quick here because you're on the verge of causing this girl to give you the let's just be friends speech if you keep behaving the way you are. So if you have a question you want to ask me, go to my website, click the contact me tab, which will be in the left hand side of your screen. Send me one to two paragraphs max and just give me several days to get back to you with a response. If you want to talk to me right away, the quickest way to get my help is to book a paid phone coaching session. And you can do that by going to my website, click the products tab, which will be at the top of your screen and just follow the instructions. If you want to get a digital version of my Kindle ebook on my website, underneath the email sign up box is a box that has a link that'll take you right to the Amazon Kindle download page for my book. Once you get there, if you don't have a Kindle device, just download one of their free e reader apps for whatever electronic device you want to read my book on. And if you appreciate the value of the information I offer in these video newsletters, the articles on my website, and my ebook, you can show your appreciation right now by going to my website and on the Wibia toolbar at the bottom of your screen, click the PayPal donate button and donate any amount that you feel is equal to the value of the information. And I will talk to you soon.